Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a quick review and lip swatches of the new NYX High Voltage Lipsticks. And this is new for the Spring 2015 collection. And I'll definitely say right off the bat, these are not a matte finish. These are really pigmented. I will say that. They're really pigmented and they're really creamy finish. Um, so these are creamy and pigmented. So therefore, um, I think you're really going to like a lot of the colors. I really like a lot of the colors. I only got seven. There are 22 in total, but I kind of tried to get a good range of, you know, different colors to play with to show you guys some that I would enjoy maybe you would enjoy and get you to kind of you know dive in there and check out some more so since these are really really creamy I would highly highly suggest a lip liner when applying these more so specifically for the darker colors with the lighter colors you can really maybe skip it but because they are really creamy you really want to be careful with any like bleeding and them getting all over the place especially when applying um, with the lip liner it's kind of like coloring inside the lines that it's really gonna help you define you know where to kind of stop because you know they can get tricky can get messy when they're creamy and a dark color and I know it's something maybe I'm gonna be conscious of when I wear dark, dark colors throughout the day and make sure it's not getting all over the place but nevertheless the dark colors are really nice the light colors are really nice I definitely like them the price I got these for Ulta uh, Ulta they have them for six dollars which is really nice price also, I bought them when it was buy one get one 50% off for NYX products, which Ulta has all the time, as well as a 40% off. So, I mean, it, you're going to get them for a really great price. So, I bought seven of them because then I got another NYX product, so eight. But yeah, buy one get one 50% off, two lipsticks for $9. That's not a bad deal. So I'm just going to get right into the lipstick swatches because I know that's especially what you guys want to see. So the first color that I have here is French Kiss. And this is definitely, for me, I feel like a color that's going to look really nice for the springtime. This is definitely like a pop of peachy with a hint of peach color. I will definitely say with this bright, light colors, you definitely, definitely want to exfoliate your lips. Because on the lips, if you do not, which at first I did not, like, I kind of exfoliated them. was a little lazy. Um, but I definitely kind of saw like the dryness of my lips I saw like the creases I saw you know kind of like the chapness kind of coming off so I was like okay no let's go exfoliate really well it worked a lot better so that's gonna be the only downfall maybe with the brighter colors you really have to prep the lips really nicely nevertheless I think I'm really gonna enjoy this color for the springtime and in general whenever I do lip swatches I don't want to use a lip liner so you guys can kind of see you know true to color what the colors look like because lip liners they can manipulate the color so definitely a pair of lip liner if you feel like this is too bright you want it to work with you a little bit better the next color that I got it's a little bit different than any color that a lot of lipstick lines have but this is the color stone and this is it right here and I specifically wanted this one because I have been lusting over lime crimes cashmere that's like a grayish they describe it's like a gray beige tone beautiful beautiful color like almost seems like it's got purples in there but like yeah it's gray and a beige and that's always always sold out 18 20 dollars too so I wanted something to kind of mimic that and then with my next color uh, that's actually what the combo I'm wearing on my lips today. Um, I actually really, really like that combo. So I really like this on its own. It's really nice if you really want to go into that gray tone. But this is really fun. I wanted this to kind of mix with purples and pinks and beiges just to kind of manipulate colors. And I, this is just a color that's really on trend right now. So I mean, I would definitely get this one on its own or to mix with other colors. The next color that we have, this is Flutter Kiss. And I love this color. This is definitely one of my favorites um, from this selection that I chose from this is a great mauve tone just on its own flattering for a lot of different skin tones and I actually combined the flutter kiss and stone and that's what I have on my lips right now and oh my god I love that combo like I can't I can't stop checking myself out. <laughs> but no, I'm like, ooh, did I hit it? Am I close to that kind of, you know, Lime Crime Cashmere mix? It's definitely what I'm trying to do. So I'm definitely going to experiment with that stone one and, you know, some other colors to see if we can kind of get it for cheaper. But I definitely like the mix of Flutter Kiss and Stone together alone. The Oh, those two I think you should definitely check out. The next color that we have is Playdate. And Playdate, this is a bright, <laughs> bright um, kind of a violet purple color. So if you love that, once again, I think this is going to be great for the spring on its own. But I originally actually wanted this one to mix with the stone as well. And I mixed them on my hand. It was, it was actually between stone and flutter kiss and Playdate and stone <laughs> um, to kind of put on my lips with the combo. And I liked both. I just ended up picking the flutter kiss and and stone but play date and stone is another great combo as well so if there's some colors in here that you feel like too bright honestly go ahead and mix them you know these are definitely creamy these are really nice to blend out so I definitely like them for that purpose 
The next color, Burlesque. This is definitely for my dark red lipstick lover girls. I definitely like this. This is definitely like a deep, deep red, almost like some hints of wine in there, but definitely more of a deep red. I was wondering if this was close to ColourPop's Bichette. Um, I would definitely say this is just a bit more darker than ColourPop's Bichette. So if you like ColourPop Bichette, but you wanted something a little bit darker, uh, Burlesque is definitely one of those. And if you love, like those deep, deep reds with a hint of wine in there, I would definitely check this one out. This next one is Wine and Dine, and this color is gorgeous. This is just like, I don't even know how to describe it. It has some, some purples in there. It's definitely like on that berry tone, got those purples. It is just gorgeous. If you love those type of colors, like just look at the swatch on my lips. It, I don't know how to describe it. I think it's just gorgeous. Get this so you can enjoy it for the rest of the winter or the evening time, but I love this. It definitely has those purples in there. More, It pulls out more of those purples, so I think this is a color. If you like those types, definitely check this one out, but definitely pair with the lip liner. Like, yeah, this is a super duper dark color. The next color I have is Feline, and this is the darkest color I have in my collection. It doesn't look maybe like it's gonna be, I didn't expect it to be this dark, but this is dark. This is like a dark, dark wine purple color. Um, I would highly suggest a lip liner for this one. When I was applying it, I had to take it off only because like when I applied, I honestly couldn't see my lip line anymore. <laughs> um, and I, I didn't think I went over, but I was like, okay, no, I'm losing my lip line. We need to do this all over again. So definitely be careful with this one. But if you are someone who really enjoys those super duper dark colors, those vampy, vampy lips, I would definitely suggest feline. It's just like, just a vampy like lip color to go with. Um, yeah, this is definitely the darkest color I have in my collection. Nevertheless, I really do like it for those, you know, vampy, dark, you know, emo days that I might be having. But, you know, a little bit chic, too. So those were the seven colors that I picked up. I enjoy all of them. Even that really dark one, that was something new for me. But I still actually really liked it. Um, and then, again, I also maybe might want to, you know, mix it with some pinks or some purples if I want to lighten it up. I like these. They're easy to kind of mix together and manipulate and just make your own type of colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed these lipstick swatches. Let me know what other colors you picked out or if you'll be checking some out definitely wait for the buy one get one 50 percent off so you can really get your money's worth you know six dollars and three dollar lipsticks is definitely always always worth it i love the fact that nyx always has sales at ulta.com or even on their nyx website sometimes you can get 25 percent off coupons same thing at ulta 20 percent off so i think these are great colors to experiment and play with so i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to subscribe and check out some other you know review and lip swatch videos and i'll see you guys next time